Here are five unique web designs if you're looking for inspiration to build your own homepage or web portfolio. This is Runway. I like the intro animation. The top right menu is simple and clean. The main call to action here is request access. This website is for finance and it's shown with this large hero text. Additionally, their main call to action is this button at the bottom right, which is the largest button I've ever seen. By scrolling down, you get to see a preview of their platform. And I must admit, I really like this scroll window that you zoom into whenever you scroll up and down. They're definitely showing rather than telling how their platform works and it kind of looks a little bit like Notion. The next section here is for features. It's a simple two column design with text on the left showcasing each feature and a preview on the right. This is all still linked to scroll and it's animated, meaning I get a good preview of what the app actually looks like if I was to use it. This next section is a little bit of an about us with some animated lines and features showcasing a bit more text, less animation for those who just want to read what's going on. And then it also has a few testimonials from people. And I like how they scroll through almost as if they're floating in the air with that background of the clouds. The investors and founders also have a nice scroll animation as well. And then it gets into the footer section, which showcases a preview of a ticket with this 3D animated mouse movement. And finally, this nav at the very bottom. This definitely ranks as one of the best websites I've seen this year. Here's a web design from Glide with this 3D laptop and a preview of their software. I enjoyed the slight tilt and pivot in the video itself. The design for the header navigation is simple with a drop down without much animation. This is the same for most of the buttons, though there are some hover effects. As I scroll down, the header navigation actually inverts so that it's more visible. This takes us to the section for features. I quite like the simplicity for this. It's got these tabs on the left you can click on and on the right hand side, you have a GIF that's animated showcasing what you're looking at. The next section is a preview of their product on an iPad, but it's also got this slider, which is uniquely designed in a way that I haven't seen before. It has these selectable items that you can click to have a look at a preview for which section you're looking at. Each one is animated, but it also has these arrows on the left and right hand side that move to that section. So rather than having a clickable arrow, the arrow sticks with you no matter where your cursor is. Here's another example of a kind of slider tab menu. This one has this animated tab at the top, kind of like a timeline, showcasing you a different section or feature in their application while also previewing it. In terms of user interfaces, this is a great way to show rather than tell what your product's doing. I can click on a section if I want to review the video or scroll to the next section here for testimonials. I like this scrolling for Twitter feeds that they have here, making it feel like there's an endless amount of people who love this product. And finally, the footer, has this really cool invert effect whenever you scroll over this large button thing with this animated border that goes around that button design. This website design is Jasper. And Jasper AI is actually a tool I've used in the past and they've redone their homepage. Starting at the header navigation, they've got this fade in effect with quite a few different options for their menu. Each menu item has a nice hover effect and you really grasp the scale of this website when you browse through the menu with all the different types of options you can select. The the main call to action is in this purple button, get a demo, and it's also in the hero image here on the bottom right. If I scroll down further, I get a preview of their application in use. And this is great because I can again see and show rather than tell how it works. In case that wasn't enough, the next section is kind of like the features section. On the left, I get tabs to find out exactly some of the features of Jasper AI's Copilot. And on the right, I get a preview image of exactly what that might look like. While I would prefer videos in this section, an image just does fine as well. The next section is kind of like a news or article section. I wouldn't include this on a homepage personally. And then we get to a call to action, get started today. It's in purple, which is the common color that they've used for call to action. And I like the moving testimonials on the right. This section here is just some statistics for nerds, so I probably would just skip right past it because it doesn't really mean anything to me. Whereas this part for responsible AI use, security, privacy, compliance, these sections I like. Even these ones here for integration with Google Docs, Google Chrome, I think those are useful sections. This section for a mix of articles and blogs and courses aren't as useful and I don't like newsletter pop-ups ever in any website. However, this call to action, which is in purple, looks great. There is this subtle movement and parallax happening in the background, which takes us onto the footer and this shows us just how many pages there are on this website. There's probably hundreds and this is just a quick sitemap. Here is Memorizely. Now this 
website is a little bit different. It's actually made for UX and UI designers, and it's a bootcamp as well. So this I expect to be designed quite well. The header navigation has a number of options to showcase exactly what kind of bootcamps are available with this nice little hover effect. The products also showcase different courses and exercises, and all the other links that people might be looking for like community and pricing and sign in are all there. I like this announcement at the top bar with this view product that's moving, drawing my eyes to it. Now onto the page itself. As soon as I scroll down, this image on the right hand side of the people goes down with me. This is a great effect to showcase the community and personality of this website, making me feel like it's a website for the people by the people. If I didn't get to see the courses in the menu, then I get to see them again down here. Then I get to see all the industry leaders they've worked with, and then finally a montage board and video if I wanted to learn a little bit more about them. Next are some statistics and bits of software I'll learn, but I like this animation that they've added with the icons moving up and down as I scroll through these two sections. I haven't actually seen what the platform looks like, so this next section is a a welcome refresh because I get to see what it looks like once I actually access and sign up to their software. It's a number of classes as well as series and workshops, all of which I can play at any time. There's some structure to it in terms of UI and UX, and this is a great way to show some of your features of your software in this unique section. However, this is a course for people. So having a chance to meet the students and seeing some of their testimonials is probably one of the most important parts of this website. You want to see success stories, and there's quite a few here. There are then some links to the community community, events, and a blog, and this section here with a bit of text that moves as I scroll, talking a little bit about the founders and the boot camps themselves. Finally, the footer is nice and simple, just clicking through to some of the core pages. Since I like this design, I couldn't help but click a view product on the UI UX course, and I was impressed with this hero section here, with an image as well as videos playing in the background of what that might look like, as well as some of the ways that the actual content might be structured. Here's a unique web design by Zach for his own portfolio as a creative and a designer designer and developer. I like that he's followed a lot of the norms that we normally have for web design, but also broken some of those conventions. His header navigation is at the top left, over here, with this very simple hover effect and drop down, which I think is quite nice. It has three different colors for his name, his menu, and his projects, and each one of these are very easy to identify, click through, and preview. I'm inspired by the left side of this web design. It has this mobile section that also has a filter, so I can search through his projects, which update on the right hand side. Additionally, on the right side is a separate scroll that doesn't move the left side. I can view some of the projects immediately, or if I want, I can also click through and preview them while staying in a web design that feels more or less like it hasn't changed at all. There is a nice case study written up for each one of these with nice images and a very simple description on the left hand side as well as some of the categories this design fits into. This follows the show rather than tell examples that I always like the most, and I think this is a great web design portfolio and hopefully gives you some inspiration to build your own if you're trying to do that yourself.